In this video, I'm going to take a look at multiplying these two rational expressions together. So in order to multiply rational expressions, I'm first going to factor everything as much as possible, cancel out any common factors, top and bottom, and then multiply straight across. Okay, so let's take a look at what that's going to look like. So I have this quadratic right here, and I would like to first factor it. So what two numbers multiply to make negative 18 that add to make negative 3? And what this first one's going to look like is quantity x minus 6 times quantity x plus 3. Okay. And then this 4x plus 8, it looks like I can take a greatest common factor of 4 out, and I'll be left with x plus 2. So far, no common factors. That's okay. So let's look at this next one. So the first thing I'm going to do is greatest common factor of 2, and I'm left with x squared minus 4, which, oh, I know this is actually difference of squares, right? So that will factor down x plus 2, x minus 2 for that guy right there. And finally, this last quadratic, what two numbers multiply to make positive 12 that add to make negative 8? Looks like quantity x minus 6 and quantity x minus 2. Okay, now I have several common factors if I look at the top and the bottom. So the first one is x minus 6. I see he's here and he's also here. The next one is x plus 3. I don't see another x plus 3 anywhere, so he's going to stick around. Then I have a 2 right here. It looks like the 2 and the 4 can cancel to make a 1 and a 2. And then my x plus 2 can cancel here. And x minus 2 can cancel here. So I actually have a lot of factors that canceled out. So what do I have now when I go to multiply all this stuff together? Well, the only thing it looks like I have in the numerator still is this x plus 3. So x plus 3. And the denominator, it looked like everything canceled out except for this 2 right there. Huh. So when I multiplied these two, I did so by factoring everything first, canceling any common factors, and then multiplying straight across, but essentially there wasn't any multiplying straight across to be done because there was only a single factor left in the top and the bottom, respectively. But in order to create equivalent expressions, I know that x plus 3 over 2 is the same as this big multiplication problem, but I need to take into consideration uh, values of x that we cannot have. So we canceled out uh, the x plus 2. So if I were to plug a negative 2 in there, that would give me a 0. So I know x cannot be negative 2, because I can't divide by 0. Similarly, x minus 6 was factored out, and uh, then canceled from top to bottom. So I can't have a 6, because 6 minus 6 is 0. And finally, the x minus 2 was canceled out. So I can't have a 2, because 2 minus 2 is 0. Okay, another way I could write this, if I wanted to kind of tidy it up a little bit, x plus 3 over 2, but my x cannot be plus or minus 2 or 6.